the new OCG ban list is out, and Fusion Destiny got banned, people are surprised that Anaconda skipped another ban. But is Anaconda the problem? If you think about it, Anaconda's popularity started with Dragoon, and continued with DPE, but considering that both Dragoon and Fusion Destiny, that sometimes enables DPE Anaconda, are banned Anaconda may start losing popularity, and might be used only in few occasions, but as a card, is not problematic, since you can negate its effects, and all the other fusions that can be summoned with it are not as powerful, maybe only Winda, but Hopefulish gets banned as well. So I'm not surprised that Konami chooses to keep the card around, I agree with that behavior, because is not the problem card, is what you enable with it. In TCG I hope they have the same behavior and that they understand that is what you search is the problem, not the searcher. Banning Anaconda is useless, since you may as well run 3 Red Eyes Fusion, like we already do with Fusion Destiny, it does locks you, but summoning Dragoon is already a big thing. So this is why between Dragoon or DPE and Anaconda, Anaconda should always be if not unbanned, at least limited, but still somehow around in the game. Thanks for coming to my pep talk.